Well, so you see there are artists with clay, too, and uh, this lady is one, and Mr. Crumrine is an artist. And uh, I think maybe it's better uh, about time we got back to see how he was doing with his picture. Come on over here, Pudding Ginger, and, and uh, see how our, our professional works. Now, you see it's got a um, shape now it didn't have before. Is that right, Mr. Crumrine? You yeah, it I'm the just finishing up the bottom now with this potter's knife. Now, that potter's knife, uh, that's one of the few tools you use? Yeah. Well, you have to use it here because my fingers can't get down into that corner. I'll take this off. After this comes the spout. Oh, well, yeah, your picture's got to have a spout. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. That's a little like pinch potting, isn't it? Yeah, this part of it. That's why you have to learn pinch potting. Now, now what are you going to do? Now I'm going to cut it off the wheel and lift it onto a bat here. And this is a very delicate uh, thing because the walls are very thin and the piece is very wet. And I can collapse it very easily. Well, you don't want this to collapse it. This is the wire. This is sort of like a piece of piano wire. Now, this is a pretty delicate... Uh, hold your breath here. So I'll go under it a couple of times to make sure it's loose from the wheel. Now, this is where you could just, what, a squeeze would collapse yeah, it? It's quite soft and quite wet. I have to dry my hands so they don't slip on it. All right, now, everybody hold your breath. Now, let's hope it doesn't collapse. Huh? Here we go. Oh, victory! Phew! Now, what's the next step now? Well, a little later, you see, I've got a handle here. It has to get stiff first. A little later, we'll put on a handle. Oh, well, then that take a little while. And Pud and Ginger, in the meantime, perhaps uh, Miss Hartzer can arrange for you to take a crack at a potter's wheel. Would you like that? On that? Oh, well, not on that one. He's still got to work on that. Maybe there are some others that we could use. Do you think Let's we could arrange we that? Let's see yeah. if we can. Oh, I'd love to. This is Miss May Gadd, one of our students. Hello, how are you? Miss Gadd, what are you making, ma'am? Well, I'm making a pot, and I'm trying to make the walls even all the way up. And that's not so easy. How long have you been at work uh, here at Greenwich Pottery? Oh, I've been coming a little more than a year, coming once a week for lessons. Well, uh, is it tough getting the walls even? Yes, it is. May, maybe you could show them how we start by cutting it in half, because we have to ruin a lot of pots before you can learn how to make a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm stop you, please. <coughs> She's going to show you what the inside looks like. What do you like about pottery better than anything? Oh, I like the feel of it and the uh, satisfaction of making something yourself and the lovely things you can make when you really get experience. That's true. You know, in this day and age, there aren't many things that you make yourself, yeah. Pudden Ginger. Uh, if you make mm. an automobile, you only make a little part of the automobile. This you make by yourself, and when you're finished, it's a little bit of you. Mm. See how nice and even the walls mm, are? Beautiful. Now, you're, you're the, you're yeah, the you're critical right. one here. Right. A little bit thicker at the bottom to hold up the sides. Uh, that's not easy to get, either. Here, turn this around just a little bit. There. Well, you can get a good look at that. Well, that's wonderful. Well, that uh, shows you what uh, training will do. <laughs> now, May, would you let Pud use your wheel for a while? Yeah, he please. wants to see what he can do with it. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Up you go. Whoa! Be careful. Oh, I start to slip. Oh, we lose more potters like that. Now, this potter's wheel is probably the first thing you better get acquainted with. This okay, is the key to it. Uh, it. Your, your leg should be a little bit longer, I think, Pud. Is she going the right way? No. Oh, we got to go the <laughs> other way. Oh, oh stop it. Breaks. You're not in one. There you go. Here it goes. Yeah. You have to learn how to kick it up to a high speed. Your leg is Here's tired. Your you have to hold on, too, while you're <laughs> kicking, don't you? Here's your clay now, and while you're getting that uh, done, we'll go on over here with Ginger and find her a potter's wheel. Hi there, what's your name? My name is Bill. Bill, what do you got there under your hands? Well, I'm trying to make a pot for my mother, but I don't seem to be very successful. Maybe it's because all the clay is on your hand instead of on the potter's wheel. Well, Bill, <laughs> how long have you been down here at Greenwich House? Well, about two years. Bill, do you suppose that Ginger could uh, borrow your wheel for just a moment and okay. see how it is? Is that all right with you? Yeah, I'll take this off here. 
Okay, let's stop it. And then... Boy, that looks like fun getting your hands all right gooey on. like yeah. that, huh, Junior? Gooey. Can't get scolded for it. That's right. Nobody can scold you for being gooey. Thank you. Thanks, Billy. Thank you. Oh. Oh. No. No. no your legs are a little longer, so you could, can kick a little bit better, maybe. Well, you sit up there with her, <coughs> Miss Hartsook, and see what uh, you, how you can come off on this thing. Now, Ginger, you remember the first thing that Mr. Crumline did with the clay? Uh, he threw it down. Right. Now, let's see you do that. Right in the middle now. All right. Ah, that's good. Now you have to wet your hands. Now, would you say that was a classic example of being off-center? Well, yes, but we haven't even tried yet. We've got to hold your hands on tightly. You better hurry up and get well, that center, well, Ginger. Just put your hands on. Up, oh, oh, slipped dear. off. Now push down so it'll stick. Yeah. Oh, why don't uh, Why don't you do it for her, Miss <laughs> Hartsuk? Uh, oh. This takes a lot of practice, which uh, we don't have time for. Here, I'll take it. Ah, I got some water. You'll be exhausted just pushing that wheel. <laughs> now, what I happened after? Remember so what happened, happened after that, Ginger? What's the next thing that uh, uh, Mr. Crumrine did? He put his thumbs in. Did you try that, Miss Hartzell? There we go. Stick both thumbs in this time. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh well. well that's not you can't bad. expect to do that's make a pot the first you're time. Doing well, I think. Ah. Pod, what? 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 Pod? What's the matter? Ah. <laughs> You know, but I don't think we'll ever display the piece that you've just done. <laughs> modern art. Modern art? Yeah, <laughs> more modern than you think. All right, but we can't learn how to do this wheel in just a few minutes, Ginger, you too. And we have lots more to find out about. Maybe you'll be able to come back here later. But in the meantime, you better go wash up at that sink. Okay. And, uh, Ginger, you too now. <coughs> As you can see, it takes a lot of skill, a lot yes. more than you realize. Now, Pud and Ginger, instantly, Miss Hartzuck, you better run over there and, and launch up, too. On the potter's wheel is where the pottery takes its shape, as you saw Mr. Crumline doing it, and not as you were doing it. When it's shaped up, it's then put into what is known as a kiln, or kill, K-I-L-N, and it's baked. They call it firing, and it comes out after eight hours of that, and after it's cooled, like this. See, it's hard. But that's not the finished product yet, because they, uh, you still don't have the color in there. Do you have something here? That's good. That'll show it. You want to hold this now? Now, you see the difference. Right. See how lovely this is and how many colors are. And maybe if the, if the <coughs> light glints off it right, you'll realize that this is a very hard and glassy surface. And that's what's known as glaze. And that's the thing that gives it not only the color, but the, uh, the texture and the hardness that makes it a very useful object. Yes. Am I right? Right. Good. I'm doing well. Now, the next thing is, where do you do your glazing? Yes, we do our glazing in the glazing room, where we weigh out the glazes just like you would make a cake. That looks like fun. It looks like making a cake, too. Uh, what is she mixing? She's mixing up a glaze, weighing it out on a scale with, you may weigh it out rather than measuring it in a cup. Mm -hmm. Then she will mix it with the with water now some of the ingredients of the glaze give it the hardness and glass like quality and some of them give it the color is that right yes we have all the raw materials in the crocks there now in those jars uh -huh. she's mixing it with water the consistency of cream in other words you make up each batch to order if you want a certain color and a certain texture you just mix it according to the recipe that's right Then comes the glazing, which you have to apply the glaze to this piece, which has already been disc fired, and it's slightly porous, so it'll absorb the glaze. In other words, it's already been baked once in the kiln, the yes. firing, make it hard like we showed. So you pour it inside and then pour out the excess, and it leaves a coating of glaze. Now she's dipping the top. Now you can't tell by looking, that's, that's white, you know, it looks white to us too here, and, and you, you can't tell can you, what color that is? No, not unless you know the formula of the glaze, but we have test plates that will show you the colors. You knowing that certain metals make certain colors, the cobalt makes blue, the copper makes green, and then you can make combinations of those two and 
vary your colors as much as you want.